We've only been using cell phones regularly in this country since 1996. And that's important because research takes time. It can take decades to actually get answers. So when you hear that we know that they're 100% safe, that we actually don't know. We're talking about something known as non-ionizing radiation. That's different than what comes out of an x-ray machine, for example, which is ionizing radiation. What a lot of scientists will use to describe it, they're saying it sort of causes a heating up of the brain, much like a, an egg, for example, uh, that's being cooked. So we don't know how long it takes uh, to actually get those effects, but we know people use their cell phones more than ever. We know that uh, they start at a very young age, and some people keep uh, some source of radiation next to their brain all day long. So that's part of the concern as well. Most people, uh, including myself, don't always read the inserts that come with uh, devices. But if you were to, uh, on a BlackBerry Bolt, for example, you'd find that it actually tells you in, in the manual to keep this about an inch, 0.98 inches, away from your, your head. I don't know how many people talk on a phone like this, but that's essentially what they're asking you to do. With, uh, with an iPhone, for example, it's 5 eighths of an inch. So uh, you, if you read those manuals closely, you'll see that that's what they're asking you to do. And it's also part of the reason that they give you earpieces to wear uh, instead of holding the phone to your ear. Your phone is not always emitting the same level. In those really tough times when you're really struggling with your phone, which I do all the time, uh, you're in a bad cell area, you're not getting good reception, your phone's actually working harder. It sends signals back and forth to the, the nearest tower, but if your phone's not working well, it means it's sending more of those signals, more of that energy, and more of that radiation. That's, those are good times to put the phone away. It does appear that children's brains are more vulnerable. Their skulls are just thinner. So when you talk about the radiation, it's easier to get through because of those thin skulls. And also keep in mind that most of us didn't use cell phones until we were already adults. We didn't have this technology as kids. They're going to go up their entire lives with it. Simply use an earpiece. I mean, all the research, all the science is pointing that way. And while we don't know enough yet, we don't want to find out 15, 20 years from now. In fact, there was a cancer link and we didn't do anything about it. Not the solution simple. Thank you.